things got serious really fast. Um, we fell really hard for each other. And uh, I was like, you think that you, you think you want to marry me? And he said, I'll marry you next Tuesday. <laughs> slow down enough today to soak up every second of it. Everything will be perfect because you're here with me. The first few times we talked, Fiesta, <laughs> and church camp, and at church, I knew you were special. I had no clue that we'd be standing here today. Me either. I think I knew that I wanted to marry you ever since we got back from New Orleans. Well, me too. Definitely. And I think Wanda knew it too as I sat on her back porch and told her all about you. You took care of me selflessly in the hospital. It only amplified it. As we start this next chapter in our lives, I pray that I always keep God number one in my life so that I can love you like Christ loves me. There are no words to explain how much I love you. I have built many things in my life. And with God by our side, I can't wait to build a life with you. Oh, I love you, Jesse. I love you so much. I love you. My dearest, Abby B. I can't believe that our engagement flew by as quick as it did. I can hardly put how I feel into words, and you're by far the best thing that God has ever my life with. When I'm with you, it feels like time stands still and nothing else matters. I'm so excited and overwhelmed that our day is finally here. It's surreal. I vow that I'll always love you more than any challenge that we ever face and be the best wife that I can possibly be to you. 
as God helps me do so. I'm so proud of the man that you are and to be able to stand by your side. Every day that passes, I only love you more. It isn't on a Tuesday, but I can't wait to marry you today. I love you with every fiber of my being, Evan Boyd. I love you forever. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to be with this couple. Lord, we thank you for your providence that brought them together. We thank you, Lord, for how you have blessed each of them tremendously over these past months. That you've brought them to a, through a friendship and a dating relationship through an engagement to this day they are becoming husband and wife before you, before their friends and their family. God, we ask, God, that you would go before them. We pray that you would give Evan what he stands in need of as the husband and as the head of his household now. God, that you would equip him and God, that you would use him God, that you would be merciful and gracious to him as he seeks to obey you and to lead his wife. God, we pray for Jesse, God, that you would help her to be submissive to her husband. God, that she would seek to obey you through him. And God, that she would be a help me to him. God, that she would encourage him and that she would strengthen him, and that she would be his confidence as he makes decisions for their homes. God, we pray, Lord, today that you would also be with the family and friends that are here. And God, that they would be advocates for their marriage, that they would be supportive of their marriage, and they would be encouraging in their marriage. Lord, we desire to see this union to be everything that you designed marriage to be. This is God, we pray for your blessings now. Who gives this woman to be married? Her mother and I. I, Evan. I, Evan. Take you, Jesse. Take you, Jesse. To be my wife. To be my wife. Before God who brought us together. Before God who brought us together. To love and cherish you. To, lo to love and cherish you. Even as Christ loved the church, even as Christ loved the church. And gave himself for it. And gave himself for it. To lead you. To lead you. And share all of life's experiences with you. And share all life's experiences with you. By following God through them. By following God through them. That through his grace. Through his grace. We might grow together. And we might grow together. Into the likeness of Jesus. Into the likeness of Jesus. Our Savior and Lord. Our Savior and Lord. I, Jesse, take you, Evan, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, before God who brought us together, before God who brought us together, to love you and to cherish you, to love you and to cherish you, to submit myself to you in all things, to submit myself to you in all things, and to follow you through all of life's experiences, and to follow you through all of life's experiences, as you follow God, as you follow God, that through His grace, that through His grace, we might grow together. We might grow together into the likeness of Jesus. Into the likeness of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Our Savior and Lord. That they will uh, engage in the ceremony of the lock of love. This ceremony displays the commitment they are making to one another, the trust they share with one another, and the security they have in one another. By the power vested in me by the state of Mississippi and the word of God, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Boyd. Evan, you may kiss your bride.
These days they fill with color. They're sewn together, and now they're holding us. This place like a painted vision, and now our intuition gives us hope of what's to come. There's a rush as we leave the shadows, as we shake these shadows and find the morning sun. These lungs holding expectations and silent declarations and island in the flood. We the horizon feel the hope inside us this is where we're meant